what happened when you don't believe in God? What happened when you don't believe in God? The Bible say twice, my friend, a fool have said in his heart, there's no God. And people that does not believe in God, they're ignorant. They're ignorant of the fact that there is a God. Because when they're in trouble, amen, they cry out for God. When things are going good in their life, they cry out for God. But when things happen sour in their life, they might have lost their loved one, they might have lost their mother, they might have lost their father, they might have lost their, their, their wife, their husband. And they once believed in God, but now they blame in God of God taking their loved one. What happened when you don't believe in God? You are a fool. The Bible, glory to God, the American dictionary say you're stupid. You are a foolish person that don't believe in the existence of God. Now I believe that they are a creature. Hey Amen. Creatures are human beings. Creatures are animals. And the creation is the world what God has made. But the creator, the one that, that made everything, the Bible says in the beginning, God created heaven and the earth. In Genesis, they talk about the origin, Exodus, hallelujah, exit out of Egypt. Numbers, he went into the wilderness. Leviticus, a hey, glory to God. People must realize that when you don't believe in God, like Stephen Hawking, Stephen Hawking, he was he was paralyzed. He was pinpointed to the chair. A million dollars for the chair that he was in. Why? Because he said, I don't believe in God. Amen. A hey, glory to God. People that mock God, people that say that God don't exist, my friend. Tragedy happens to them. And they don't, they don't want God to, to take them out of the tragedy. The glory to God, they, they end up in a terrible situation. What happened when you don't believe in God? My friend, you, you're going to be judged. And you're going to be judged for by you not being appreciative, not being grateful. Hallelujah for what God have done to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My friend, I was once, I was once an atheist. Hey, glory to God for a few, for a few years. Or I'd say for 30, for, for three days. And was knocked to my knees. Amen. And and believe me, my friend. I hurt, I, I, when I got sick, I had no choice but to turn to God. And I say, God, if you heal me, I'll serve for the rest of my life. Amen. So I'm saying to this to tell you, my friend, there is a God. Because the Bible said, heaven declare the glory of God. There's a God. Whether you believe it or not, there's a God. And if you, and if you don't believe there's a God, you are a fool. Amen. And people want evidence. How much evidence you need to know that there's a God that created you and me. Amen. And a lot of people use logic. Hallelujah. They want, they want to say that show me, prove to me that there's a God. Look around. Look around. Look at a, when a baby is born in a womb. You can't, you can't, hallelujah, you can't determine how a baby is, is, is being born into, the, into a mother's stomach. That's why Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, he, to, he told Nicodemus, the wind blows the word listed, and thou hear the sound thereof, but can't tell where it's going or where it's coming, so it's everyone that's born of the Spirit. So God, the creator, the, the creator of cre creation, and, and that's why I don't stand people, they worship the creatures. You worship the stars, you worship the moon, they go to you, you worship uh, the clouds, you worship things that God has created. And you say that's your God, Amen. And these call, these people call are uh, ignorant. When when Paul went to Athens and Paul say yeah, you are too superstitious. They say Paul went to see an altar 
that was erupted up. And Paul say to the unknown God who you ignorantly worship, him I declare unto you. My friend, God is too, is too known to be unknown. The God of the universe. And usually, I'm going to tell you, usually, amen, how uh, 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 children been brought up in the church, amen, and when they get older, they go to college, and some professor, some perverted professor, Put a lot of a lot of things in their head and they come home from college and they say that mommy is there really a god amen the professor say that they know god and you rather believe you rather believe a professor than believe the pages of the bible you you were the believer a professor than see what god has brought you from god has put you in this college god have done miraculous miracle to you and now you are you are doubting the existence of the God that's well known. Him, and that's why I tell people you have to have a foundation. Your foundation ought to be strong upon the Word of God. Hallelujah! And if your foundation is strong upon the Word of God, can no devil in hell knock you off the foundation? So I, know, so I, I tell people I know too much about God. Amen. Amen. And if you don't know too much about God, if you have a person that tastes and see that the Lord is good, whatever taste comes, my friend, you will say, hmm, that's not the taste of God. Amen. So a person that does not believe in God, they're going to be judged according to their belief. Amen. Hell, hey, go to God, go be your home. Torment and torture and pain. Hallelujah, glory to God, because the white, throne, the white throne judgment is a judgment for those that reject God. You are you rejecting the hand that feeds you. You are rejecting the hand that touch you every morning. You're rejecting the hand that touch you and, 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 and molds you and made you. Amen. So I'm saying to somebody out there, when you don't believe in God, you're putting yourself in predicament that can no doctor, no lawyer, no physician can help you. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I'm talking to somebody right now. You once believed in God, but now you don't believe in God. And you're wondering why all these bad things are happening to you. Even though whether you believe in God or not, my friend, tragedy happens. But tragedy, when it happens to a Christian, you know that God will make a way for you. But when you are an atheist, when you don't believe in God, when tragedy happens, you're going to go down like a, like a snowball getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you get destroyed. Amen. What happened when you don't believe in God? You, the Bible calls you a fool. The Bible call you stupid. The Bible call you ignorant. Hallelujah, because you don't believe in the existence of the miraculous God. The one that woke you up each morning. It wasn't your alarm clock that woke you up this morning. It was your your honey, the, your, your, your one that, the, the, that, that touched you and all of a sudden you up. No, my friend, it was God. God did it. It was God. The creator of the universe did it. Hey man, it was it wasn't no, no alarm clock. It wasn't it was no cell phone. You you set and you woke up. No, it was God. Because without an ear, you wouldn't hear. Hey man, it wasn't no, no sense. So I'm saying to you that does not believe in God, you're in trouble. You might not see trouble right now. You might you might be prosperous. You might be a doctor. You might have a big house. You might have a nice car. You might have all the mature things. You might have degrees on your wall. But when you're in trouble, when you stand before God, all your degrees on your wall, all the nice cars, your big house, all the money in the bank can't save you. Why? Because you don't believe the existence of G-O-D, goodness, omnipotent, and deliverer. Amen. When you don't believe in God, you are a person that will be in pain for eternity. No annihilation. You wanna, you're going to be a screen and you're going to be judged according to your belief. 